The golden sun glistens above the dilapidated ruins that were once humans' homes. Shadows grow as the fiery planet slowly climbs its way to the top of the world, radiating a spot where Mr. Rolls lived. Cries of children's laughter echo around the building site, entrancing the wolf that whistles, bears its bum, but rarely bites. A white cooker stands high and alone on a drumlin of sand, soil and societal's sediment, once the very fabric of people's lives. Green curtains are half drawn in the glassless windows of a second floor flat, and above the chaos of twisted steel, jagged slabs, concrete boulders, a yellow workman's hat. Diggers dig and cranes roar in an attempt to bring the community to the floor. Brick by brick and stone by stone, pull old buildings down, build new homes. This is how regeneration begins. People lose and contractors win. The chaotic destruction of whole communities, all in line with government policies, architecturally brainwashing generation after generation. Barbed wire fence and floating dust, large crane and plant covered in rust. Builders and joiners from out of town tear our houses, shops and boozers down. But orders must be carried out to the letter to please the bosses and makes things better. These people who redesign our lives live a million miles away with their wives and kids who play on vast green lawns surrounded by blooming flower beds but would swap it all for a Sunday with Dad. They're far away from the floating dust, speeding cars that maim and kill. A different kind of hurt, a different kind of pollutionville. And when they've finished their rebuilding, ex-homeless people begin to move in. They're impressed for a month or two, then realise that the plastic, glue, hardboard and formica that holds this fragile box together is just like the princess who scissored the ribbon on the outside pristine, but on the inside a midden. First they find large black cockroaches, second big black rats, these houses were built on top of flats that were built on top of a bog that were built on top of a house that were built on top of houses and soon the houses begin to bend and bob from side to side and cracks appear and whole streets slide. Then a rat-like counsellor decides that this crime-ridden area of dilapidation is in some serious need of regeneration. Let's build things up and make things fine with a grant from sexy Hesseltine. £500 million already spent and £44.90 collected in rent. Rebuilding doesn't make problems go away. It just creates a new dumping ground for the poor, the black, the Irish and the gay.